Hola, my name is Nimzul, and welcome to a new episode of Let's Build a MKP Park. In today's episode, guys and girls, I'm going to try for the third time to design the coaster of the Earth theme area. The first, uh, the first time, the first attempt, I tried to create an RMC. I didn't, I didn't finish that RMC. The second time. I, I made a wooden coaster, I finished that wooden coaster, I also made a prototype for the, for the theming but uh, I noticed that the type of the coaster I have created didn't fit pretty well uh, for the theming and I want to keep the theming but I need a new coaster so I will keep the same uh, style for the theming as uh, it was before this kind of terraforming and as I said in the recap episode, I will use the concept of Nagrant in World of Warcraft for this Earth area. And uh, this time I'm going to uh, create a dive coaster. Uh, I hope this kind of coaster uh, works better with this, um, with this theming. And it's my intention to create a really tall uh, dive coaster. I have or I have created only once in in my uh, in my parks. It was in the it was MKP Hadrian in MKP Classic World. And this time I'm going to I will try to make it better as that coaster was not a, was not a, one of my best coaster. And it, I would say it was not so realistic. So this time I'm going uh, really taller with this dive coaster and for sure I will use the shape of the mountain in my advantage for that design. So uh, it's my intention to uh, of this, this uh, it's my intention that this uh, coaster will have uh, also uh, some inversions but as you know guys and girls if you are familiar to this game and you have tried to uh, design a dive coaster this kind of coaster cannot be really uh, long because the, the trains uh, lose the speed really fast so I hope I can reach the 100 uh, meters for this coaster and well let's see how, how it works so that's a plan for today's episode guys and girls if everything works fine I will also try to make the path of the area and why not maybe including some flat rides and for sure the main thing of this coaster as I'm going to use the uh, shape of the mountain in my advantage the point is I will try to uh, work hard to not uh, see from the coaster the roof of the indoor section of the eclipse coaster and also for of the caverns as well so I would say that this is going to be the uh, the direction of the first drop and here the people will not see the um, the roof, the, bla uh, the black uh, terraforming roof, which are supposed to be uh, uh, real uh, buildings or buildings in, uh, in the, this was a real park, a real park. These, those mountains and so on were supposed to be buildings, not real mountains. That's something I want to clarify to you because maybe if you see this, um, you say, okay, these mountains are crazy. This makes no sense. But that's because. Uh, the intention is that uh, this, if this should be created in real life, this is a building and this is only a decoration of that building theming, as you can find in many parks like, uh, for example, the best theming park in the world, which I would say is Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh, so uh, it's my intention to, uh, to use this kind of uh, uh, terraforming work uh, a lot in this park as you can see because it will save me much more pieces and you know that's uh, one of the most important things to me to save pieces to let you know visit your visit my parks from your computer so that's the plan for today's episode guys and girls and if you really love my creations and you want to stay tuned for the content that is coming to the channel and you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel as usual, I will be back at the end of the video to talk about the result and hopefully to show you the final point of view of the dive coaster. I hope this time works. And yes, yeah, so that goes all. Hasta luego.
All right, I am back. Well, guys and girls, I think I have managed to create the nice coaster, a nice dive coaster. To be honest, I am a little bit surprised that it took like like uh, 45 minutes to finish the layout. And the reason is, uh, I think the reason it was uh, the reason why it was so so fast is because. It, it was clear to me that the coaster, uh, that the first, that the first row will looks uh, in this direction, and as uh, I started to make it the the first uh, looping, and everything came uh, really fast into my mind, and, and it, it was really, really, really easy to to make this coaster, and I, and really, a little bit surprised to be honest. But okay, so this is the coaster I have created, and I have also. Uh, add some uh, terraforming supports which for sure if these um, these uh, terraforming supports are uh, buildings that cover the real uh, supports but in this case I, I, as, I, as I made in the for the wooden coaster but I think with uh, with this kind of coaster uh, looks much uh, better and I'm pretty happy with the result and I have also spent off the camera like uh, half an hour uh, planting some trees. So I would like to show you right now how this area looks like with the trees. So are you ready? So let's go. So <laughs> uh, what I made is just uh, I put all the trees in, the, in a building and I deleted just before I started this recording, this last uh, video uh, section. And now I have a, a, a control uh, set to, um, to, so I delete the building and now I, I made a control set to, to have the building, uh, the, the building with the trees uh, again in the park. So guys and girls, as you know, when I plant the trees in this area, the park begins to uh, take shape. This area is quite important as the, it's going to be the greenest area, the area with more vegetation and lush of the park, as uh, this is going to be the earth area. And, and the name of this, um, of this uh, area um, it was, uh, it's my intention to call it the Life Barrow. But if you have any any better name for this, just let me know in the comment sections. So I would like to, to show you how this coaster uh, looks like. Uh, 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 so let's move to this train. So um, we have the first and um, the first uh, lift hill. Now we have this uh, part. As you know, previously you can see from here the um, the roof of the indoor section of the magma forge and the caverns but now i have planted some trees to to hide that view and now the view we get is the really nice view of the park when we when we are here and we don't see any any roof as you know here you can see there the, there is also a roof but it's covered with the with the these fake mountains uh yes i think i i'm pretty happy with the with the result so now uh, we have the first drop the typical drop of a dive coaster which go uh, under the terrain and now we go to the uh, looping here we have and yes it's a really really nice looping and now we have this uh, element I don't know which is the name of this element but uh, can it be banana something I, I, I don't know I don't know to be honest but I really like it and here we enter into the first break section. We come here with the with the now uh, um, speed, and here I, it's my plan to make like a, a small indoor section for this uh, part for this uh, break section. And now we face the second drop of the of the coaster. Probably I should make uh, should give some more speed to this break section. <laughs> so let let's go. Now we have another inversion. We have now the first the airtime hill like here, and we go back and, and we go into this uh, non uh, non inverted uh, looping, which is the first time I use this element in one of my coasters. And that's all. As I said previously, this coaster. 
should be this kind of coaster are not so uh, suitable for long as uh, coasters so I made I use the speed I have just to uh, have five inversions and I think the the, the statistic of the coaster is uh, 100 uh, 1.2 k meters and look at this look at the max speed 120 kilometers per hour that's crazy and uh, and well I think that's the first coaster in this park who, who reach this uh, speed and uh, yes that's uh, that's really nice because I really wanted to have a uh, an amazing coaster for adults in this area so we have the biggest drop of 55 meters which by the way is not uh, so tall uh, if you know the I think uh, the biggest dive coaster you can find in, in uh, Carowinds and uh, and Cedar Point and they are over uh, over 17 meters so this one is not so big it's not so big uh, but it looks like because it's the at the moment is the biggest coaster in the park the the tallest coaster in the park so now you can see this view of the park this aerial view I'm pretty happy and uh, well the work here has just started I will I think I will use not so many pieces in this area as every um, almost everything will, will be made with terraform and, and nature pieces but uh, in the next episode uh, of this uh, uh, in the next episode where we, we, we will visit this area I will start with the theming phase of this area and as I say the concept for this uh, area for the theming of this area is Nagrand in World of Warcraft all right so guys and girls if you like this video thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel you can help me a lot to make uh, this channel grow by subscribing to my channel my name is Nimthul and this was let's build a MKB park adios <laughs>